Greetings Cyberdogs, this is Rendog coming at you from this brand new Let's Play Minecraft Tech It series and I'm here with my brother from the same freaking mother, Real Gox. Say hi Real Gox. What's up everybody? Oh man guys, this is a brand new freaking series and we are playing Minecraft Tech It and for those of you who have no idea what Tech It is, that is what the series is for and what, for those of you who know what it is, you are about to witness the awesomeness that is this freaking mod. In this episode, my brother and I are going to work on creating an automatic mining system so that we can start getting a whole bunch of freaking materials so that we can start making some freaking sweet shit. Isn't that right, True Gox? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you, like, do you like my, my word? <laughs> it's Minecraft dance. It's Minecraft. It's Minecraft. Anyway. So, true Gox, man, we have spawned next to a freaking volcano. How sweet is that? This is like the coolest seed I have ever seen in Minecraft. Check, we're on this island. We have one tree. It's kind of, it makes me feel like we're on like uh, one of those movies where you have to like try to survive something. We yeah, have yeah, like yeah. one tree, one tree to, and like only a limited wood and then freaking volcano. Uh, OMG, dudes. When we joined this freaking seed, my brother and I were just like, what a volcano and in the distance there you can see there is oil over there spurting out yeah. the ocean um so anyway we have got some tasks to do and we're going to split up to do them so that we can get them done in the most efficient way i'm going to be in responsible for getting some tools and 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 gox is going to go get some freaking food i'm going to get some food damn okay so let's do this um, i'll I'm check you can yeah. You can't break it because this is our spawning point. Oh, they just did this just to, to tease us. It's just a tease. Bastards! What do you mean I can't break it? You can't break stuff around your spawning point. It's to stop um, griefers. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to have to head on, head on over okay. to the mainland then. I guess both of us have to go there, right? Yep. Let's do this. It's time for a swim. Ooh, damn, this is cold. Well, <laughs> we're next to a volcano. <laughs> it's like a sauna. <laughs> um, so I guess we should probably explain to some of our viewers who maybe don't know what Ticket is. Ticket is basically, um, how to describe it, Gox? I would say someone took Minecraft to Exhibit, and Exhibit was like, <laughs> I'm gonna pimp your ride, but I'm gonna pimp your ride beyond the realm of pimpage. Yeah, that's, that's basically, basically it. Yeah, that's basically what... Like People played the game, and they were like, man, if only this would happen, if only that would happen. And then, um, who, who was it? Those, those uh, English dudes. Um, I think it was the Yogg's Cast. In fact, I'm pretty, yeah. yes, I, it, it was the Yogg's Cast that actually, um, So, that so actually big up to those guys. Damn. And if you guys don't know what the Yogg's Cast is, don't go, s <laughs> go watch it, because it's competition. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch it, that's uh, it's awesome. Dude, check at this crazy hey, check biome in. we're in, man. There's an, an apple dropped. Awesome. There's only one tree. There's a, there's an island over there behind you. There's just sea around us. Man, oh, this is God. really crazy. Okay, so I've there's got a some, squid. I've got some wood. Can you eat squid? I'm in charge of getting food, and I, I feel like I'm going to let us down. Um, I don't think you can eat squid. I think it's going just drop ink. There's, there's a crazy chavern here. Yo, damn. Whoa, okay, this tree whoa. dropped a sapling, so I'm going to plant it. So that... Uh, That's a and, good and idea, check, actually. We, we, we've got very limited wood. And check this out. I don't know if you can see, but I got an apple. Yeah, damn. So, so, so far, that's for me. Okay. I'll try get you something some other time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so, so anyway, as I was saying about this mod, so Tech It is basically um, a, a combination of a whole bunch of different mods, right? You've got Industrial Craft, which lets you build um, new, new uh, machines like furnaces and stuff that do other stuff. Like, for example, you can build a machine that um, grinds down materials into dust and then you can use the dust to do stuff. And um, it's, and then there's other mods in it also. The, the most important for us is it's called Industrial Craft. And Industrial Craft lets you do amazing stuff. For example, building an automatic mining machine called a quarry. And that is basically what we are going to be doing um, in the beginning of this series, is trying to build a yeah. quarry. 
<laughs> and also maybe maybe something important to mention is it's uh, legit. It's not creative mode or anything like that. So yeah, we're going to be playing this um, legitimately. So survival, basically. Um, an adventure. We're going to have us an adventure. Damn. And um, industrial is really sweet because what you do is you make engines that power stuff, and then um, the stuff that you make does really cool. <laughs> Jazz. Like for example, I was talking about that quarry, and what it does is it basically digs down to bedrock in a, I think it's a 16 by 16 area. But for the quarry, you can, to you, you can actually um, choose any area you want. Oh, okay, cool. It just takes longer then the bigger the the area, right? And yeah. Oil. And it requires more fuel. The whole thing about um, all these add-ons is that um, they added energy into the equation because they realized it was getting a bit easy. So, for example, to run an engine, you've got to burn coal, you've got to burn oil. Um, and it doesn't just run forever. So, so it's, it's all like logic-based, right? So you say to yourself, yeah. okay, what do I, I want to do? Okay, I want to um, mine automatically. Okay, cool. What do I need for that? Well, I need like a giant machine that's going to do that. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Uh, what does the and machine then, need? The machine needs... It needs like, yeah, and, and like pipes and, and like pipes, that sort of yeah. stuff. And the machine needs an engine to run, and the engine needs water to keep it cool, and um, and yeah, that's basically how you know how the industrial craft works. So it's pretty simple to to work out. And if I press E, you can see on the, the left, on the right hand side here, we've got um, a view of all the different machines and stuff. Um, so this is where you can see like what is required to build stuff. A lot of people are really intimidated by this mod because it's really complicated. Yeah. To be honest, when um, when Rendog asked me to, to do this, I looked at it and I, I felt like overwhelmed. I was like, no, no, can't do it. But um, after fiddling with it for like a day, it's actually quite easy. Yeah, you just get used to it. And it's 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 like I was saying to Gox earlier, it's like any RPG game, right? If, if, you, if you loaded up Diablo 3 and everything that you could achieve was already there, you would be like, yeah, man, yeah. I can't do this. This is too and, complicated. And you saw all the skill trees of like everyone, exactly, all the but characters. And that's what, and that's what um, Tech It is. It's basically everything is revealed to you from the beginning. So you're like, whoa, this is crazy. I can't do this. But actually, if you just like spend a little bit of time doing it, uh, it all starts <coughs> to make sense. Games actually used to be like that. I remember playing games like Dungeon Keeper 1. That's uh, a bit of a giveaway of our age, I guess. Um, and in the first stage, you could only build like two out of the, the 15 things and you only got the first rubbish creature. But the, it was quite cool because it like sets you up and it teaches you the game slowly. But games nowadays, I don't know, they just seem to like throw you in the deep end. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. That's my feeling. Here's a, a spade and a pickaxe for you. Yeah. Vomit it out. Uh, there, it's over there on the floor. Oh. I've been doing my job. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to eat this one apple that I have. Mm. <laughs> so what are you up to over here? Oh, okay. we could make, dude, dude, dude. What? We could make a fishing rod. Can you? But I've used all of our weed. Okay, wait for the sapling. To oh grow. my god, there's a creeper. <laughs> oh shit! Ah oh, shit! Back up, son. Damn, he looks nasty. Did you see it? He mustn't. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he almost blew up our um, crafting table. Okay, so sad face. So here, here's my problem, right? Being the farmer. Yeah. of the group I've explored all of the surrounding islands and there's no like cows or anything there okay so we or definitely wood. need fish we're basically we're basically this is yeah it's actually really fun it's quite interesting because I almost feel like we've started in like a like a dud um, seed sort of but actually it's like challenging right well it's weird because because we've got this volcano so it's it's like it's so awesome that we have a volcano yeah, yeah. And but there's the so many tunnels time. underground, like huge, uh, 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 like caves to explore. Oh man, this is gonna be sweet. So, okay, so, so anyway, so here's my plan, right? Yeah. I'm gonna build basically like a massive field of dirt, and then hope that it's big enough so that cows spawn. Because the spawning of the critters is just kind of random, right? I don't know. Do, you, do cows spawn? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know the critters. Like if you kill all the cows in your do they actually spawn they, again? They, I didn't. I didn't realize yeah. they spawned again. No, no, they do. Oh, that is awesome, dude. That is a freaking smart plan. So, but I don't know if it works. I don't know if, if an actual spawning block needs to 
to be placed. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm hoping for because I'm about to starve. We might actually die a couple of times just because we can't get food. Yeah, that's actually true. And also I mean, with this tree, we must every sapling we get, we must plant. Definitely. This is actually like a, a resource limited seed. It's quite awesome. Okay, so what are you what are you what are you up to here? Okay, I'm gonna now build a massive earth platform to that island over there. Oh uh, right, right. Um, do you think it's worth me trying, like, just swimming across the ocean? No, I think. Uh, well, you can try, but well, swimming takes up a lot of um, food. That's the thing. I think you, yeah, you, you, you like starve a lot when you swim. Dude, you know what we should have done with that first tree? Yeah. Um, we should have broken the leaves and then hoped for it to drop saplings. And, and just left the wood. Yeah. Well, until we got a whole bunch of saplings. Do you think that the spawning, uh, if we break the, the leaves of the spawning tree, it'll drop saplings? I, I tried. I don't think you can break anything. Well, you, you, can, you can break them, but then they just respawn again. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to okay, go we'll try, try it out. Oh god, but the swimming is the swimming is bad. Yeah. <laughs> so this is crazy, man. We we started this freaking um series with the intent of building machines and now we are stuck just trying to freaking survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what I also realized is that we both look like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> we both look completely ridiculous. So maybe we should set the cyber dogs a, a, a bit of homework. What do you reckon? Uh, okay. If any of you out there are really good at making Minecraft skins, oh yeah, yeah, make Drox and I skins for this series, and we will Man. wear them. Um, is there anything like you, you want to be? No, no, no. That's fine. Any whatever people feel like doing. Yeah, go go crazy, guys. If you want to make us a skin, then make it and um, where should oh and yeah and go to dogcraft.net, which is our website, and post the link or the, the pictures there, and then we will choose the sweetest freaking skins and we will we will win. I'm gonna punch the squid. Give me your food. Maybe maybe we get food from squids and take it. I don't know. Um, no. Just got three sacks. How's our tree? There's another creeper over there. And a spider. And a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> See, what happens? <laughs> they spawn, but, but cows don't spawn. Yeah, you just sit there and hack them, because if a creeper um, lands on... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna freaking die! No! Ah! No! <laughs> freaking spider! Okay, well at least ah, I have Ah, it's full, after me! At least I have full life now. Oh, it just needed one more hit, by the way. Oh. So I did all the hard work and you just put in the final punch. <laughs> exactly. I hit it in the soft spot. Yes, that is some bull. I pulled its eye out. Dude, the sun needs okay. to come up real bad. Well, I'm hoping that this is going to work. Because if it doesn't, I'm actually not sure how else we're going to get food. Well, we're going to. Uh, now that I have full um, life, I might as well swim. Just remember which direction you are. Uh, oh, I've got a mini map. Yeah. Dude, our, our freaking island is just full of zombies. Can you eat eyes? Oh, you can eat eyes. You Ooh, can also eat the zombie me. flesh, but it poisons you. Okay, so we, we do have some f uh, form of food. <laughs> We're stuck on an island, we have to eat zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beating Nasty. the zombie to death with the stake of his cousin. <laughs> I think zombies must be afraid of us, man. They're like, why did I spawn here? <laughs> These guys are crazy. <laughs> Eat it. Eat your own brother's arm, you bastard. Die. Yes, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, him, in, I'm hitting him in his testicles and he's not dying. 
Well, it's difficult to die from being hit in the testicles. <laughs> All it does is put them in huge pain. Man, our freaking island is infested. How's our sapling looking? Uh, not very good. I think I think what I'm gonna do is okay. So you already swam over to this island, right? Yeah. And there was nothing there. Yeah. I think. You see, I think the major concern is wood. We need wood real, real bad. And the thing is, if if our tree grows and you break the leaves, you get yeah um, apples. Apples and saplings. And saplings. Yeah. So like we can't actually break that tree. It's like, yeah, this is like another little peninsula over here. Yeah. Man, this is actually a, yes, this is a crazy spawn. Yeah. Oh, I've got a flower. If you if you see flowers there, pick them and come plant them on my my land here. Okay, I'm I'm f swimming in the hopes of finding another island. Like even just one more tree will will do us. I'm swimming, like, directly south. Is it just me or is night time, like, long? <laughs> Are we, like, yeah, this in night Scandinavia or something? <laughs> this night does seem to be taking its freaking sweet-ass time. Hey, it's not just me. Nope, it certainly is not. Okay, I'm, I'm heading south. Yes, it's, it's just ocean. See, because if Maybe. we can get a couple fishing rods, then uh, then that'll be sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, I'm getting disorientated. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Bear Grylls talks about. <laughs> All I see is water. <coughs> it's a good thing you got your compass. So anyway, let's uh, talk about the minimap. Isn't it like awesome? Man, that minimap is sweet. Yeah, the minimap is the sweetest, and it's, it does actually show quite a lot of detail also, which is... Yeah, it actually really looks very pretty, I think. It makes me feel quite warm and fuzzy inside. Man. In a way that only minimaps can. <laughs> there, there is literally no land. Oh, by the way, there's, there was also reed here. And um, I plant, I, I broke it into three and planted it by the water, so that should also grow into three reed. But, um, okay. you, know, uh, you know what might actually be cool is to post the seed of this, of this stage and see if anyone else can, like, can survive better than we can, you know? Almost like a survival challenge. Yeah, dude, you know I've, what just, I mean? I've just found another island, but it's literally just the head of a <laughs> volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh, oil. Man, we are in an oil-rich area, but... Oh, yes. really? Oil again? Yeah, there's another oil geyser over here. Yo, I'm gonna pump that shit. <laughs> oh, God, there's an Enderman here. What? Don't... Don't pick on me, Enderman. Okay, so there but was... Why is he out in the sun? Do they come out in the sun? Um, no, he should definitely not be there. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is no land around here. Okay, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, we're going to put this on pause. Um, I'm going to swim back to the island, and we basically need that sapling to grow again. So uh, it's, it's time for the episode to end anyway. Okay, sweet. Well, that's perfect timing then. <laughs> so guys, we really hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Let's Play Minecraft Take It with me and my brother Ren, uh, Gox. Me, Ren Dogs, brother Gox. <laughs> and uh, we'd love to get your feedback in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys want um, to see us build or, or any comments that you want to make on the series. And, and man, work, on it this, has been... work on those skins. Yeah, and work on those skins. Make us some sweet ass skins, man. And we will we'll wear them. And, and man, it has been freaking sweet damn take it as sweet even though we haven't done anything yet <laughs> and hopefully in the next episode we're going to be able to get some more wood and get our little colony going and and achieve some of our freaking goals so guys if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe there's, there's more take it coming for your asses and uh, this has been Rendog and goxie playing
Minecraft take it. Goodbye, people. <laughs>